Hey folks, good morning to you. It's so early. I don't know what time it is. It's like 4.35, somewhere in there. No, maybe it's 5.30. I guess I've been up since 4. Get my man John Paul coming to pick us up. Take a little ride down south. This is way too early to be up in the morning. My goodness. But I want to thank everybody for joining me on today's a little adventure down south headed towards Batangas on a little business mm. alright the man's almost here first stop be 7-Eleven give me a beer and a Red Bull This one's going with me. This one's going back to bed. So you be good girl for mama too, okay? Temporary bridge? Yes, sir. Sure is. Yeah, under step one. So they're building it under here. So we're going over the construction. We're on the way here. This beautiful lady over here, now she knew that we were going on a long road trip, right? And you know what she forgot to do last night? <laughs> What'd you forget to do? To charge my phone. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Because I fell asleep. Okay, so she fell asleep, forgot to charge her phone, and now she wants to use some of my battery. Yeah, and this is what I told her. I said, look, I got a meter on here. This is this is clearly at 100%, all y'all are my witness, right? And I said, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna rent you, or I'm gonna sell you 5% of my power bank for 20 pesos long. Sweet baby, 20 pesos long na long. Yeah, I pay. You gonna pay? Yeah. All right, so look at there, there's 100. Go ahead, baby. I'm going to check the meter. Once it hits 95, that's it. Go ahead. Wait, wait a minute. Should I get the payment up front? <laughs> baby, I, I need that 20 pesos up front here. Go ahead. Just go ahead and fork it over. Excuse me. Charge first before I pay you. That's not the way it works here, baby. Or later when I was talking. And does he now she want to do later? Baby, just give me that 20 pesos. Yeah, later. I, I got what you need. Later I pay. Now let me check it again. I All right. I need to charge my, my phone first. Before I, I told her, I said, last before, night the electricity was free. I give you 20 pesos. <laughs> now look, 5% off my thing. Thank you. <laughs> you know, but folks, this ain't my first rodeo, right? If I do miles the same way. If she knows we're going on a trip or a flight or whatever, where we're gonna be traveling the whole day, the next day she wakes up, low back. Get to the airport, she got like 1%. percent like, baby, why didn't you charge your phone? You knew we were going on an all day trip. And here I am, Nanita's the same way. Sorry, because... Because what? <laughs> because I fall asleep. That's you fell asleep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then when I was when I wake up very early, then I said, "Oh, it's too late. I'm charged. My phone is it going? It's ready to go now." But baby, you had to take a shower, and get ready, right? <laughs> if you would have plugged it in when you woke up. Okay. Okay. 
next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Yeah, next next time I'll sell you another five percent off my power bank. Yeah, next time I I, I make sure one one hundred percent full charge my phone. Okay. Yeah. And folks, a lot of the girls so updated in this country, right? I need to pay you twenty pesos. No, it's okay. I like twenty pesos. <laughs> but but you know what? I may have to charge you more next time. You know make a little bit more profit okay. all the girls I've dated in this country they have something in common mm -hmm. I'm not saying all Filipinas mm -hmm. but I'm saying let me say most of the Filipinas that I've ever dated when you meet them okay number one their cell phone whether it's a smartphone or a talking text a keypad phone first thing they have in common is a cracked screen Every Filipina girlfriend I've ever had, her phone has had a cracked screen. Now, is your is your screen cracked? Yeah. Is it is it broken or no? No. Okay. All right. So her screen is not cracked. Okay. All right. So you're the anomaly. The second thing, they always have low bat. The third thing is, what's the third thing? No load. So if you send them a text, they can't text you back unless you pass them some load. 20 pesos long for one day, and then they might text you back. But, you know, when you first come here, and, and you know, you get a girl's number or what have you, and I know everything's on Messenger these days or what have you, but I'm from the old school. You text a girl, she don't text you back, it's probably not because she's not interested in chatting with you, she just got no load. So. Send her 20 pesos load. It's easy to do. You just stop by the sorry, sorry store, give them the number. Send her 20 pesos load, then you know she's got load. And then she should start texting you. Unless there's another issue here. In Fatima's village, historically, there's been no signal. Now, they did put up a smart tower, so now if you have smart, you know, it's got pretty good service there. But for years, there was no signal in her village. So you send her a text, she's in the village, she can't reply, there's no signal. They gotta hump up to the top of the sugarcane field, get in the second floor of this old house that was under construction to get a signal. So that's another reason that maybe the girl you're trying to chat over here doesn't reply in a timely fashion. You know, a lot of these places, held, still these places in Angeles on Fields Avenue, you go inside those bars, zero signal. And this is like the premier tourist area, you know, on Luzon, and you still can't get a signal inside the bars. You'd think somebody would say, hey, we need to put a tower up where there's... Anyhow, just thought I would discuss that. So if you're trying to communicate with a beautiful Filipina here, um, no load, cracked screen, no signal. So you got to give her the benefit of the doubt. And the only thing that you can really correct is to send the girl a load to make sure she can communicate. Um, oh, one more story. And I've told this story before. I was chatting this girl, this is 10 years ago, and I would send her a message and say something like, hey, how are you? And then she would reply, you know, I'm, I'm she wouldn't reply to the question. She would send a reply, but it wasn't, in context or anything to do with the question and she later on she admitted to me that her screen was cracked so bad that she could only see certain letters so when she would read my message there was a lot of pieces missing and she would have to guess what I'm asking what I was asking so anyhow but that's uh, this girl right here the only factor that she has going on right now is the low bat It's still showing 100 percent what kind of phone is that girl mm -hmm. you look you know what you'd look good with you'd look good with an iphone 13 pro max and gold i think that's what you need with a case with some little diamonds on it you know Maybe, maybe one of the viewers out there has an extra iPhone 
you know, secondhand 13 Pro Max laying around they could send to you. I don't know. <laughs> I wish. But I'm not that sure. <laughs> Anita, you're down to 97%, and your phone's only charged 3%. Didn't talk about like that first because I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah, about I what happened, the car, and then I'm worried for your appointment today, this morning. I don't want to be late. Okay, I, I appreciate you being so concerned about my appointment. But I think what you're doing is trying to distract me from that meter right there. It was a good distraction technique, but it's not working, baby. I'm keeping close eye, 97%. And it's only give your phone 3%. I'll tell you what. Okay, I charged you 20 pesos for 5%. How about let's do 50, I give 50 pesos, I give you 10%. That's a bargain there. Okay, you make full charge my phone and then I give you 100 pesos. But baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want 100 pesos full charge, but right now it's going one for one. Now that's a little bit perplexing because this is a 20 milliamp battery. It's obviously a huge battery. And her phone is only taking like 1% per 1%. Like one of Fatima's phones, you know, the battery was old, so the battery wouldn't last for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, right? A, you buy a new phone, or B, you buy them a power bank, right? So I give Fatima a power bank, and now she has low bat on her phone and low bat on the power bank because she forgets to charge the power bank. So it didn't solve the problem. 96 baby. Hello. I'll be expecting 20 pesos payment <laughs> in 1% here. <laughs> okay, it's shut down. <laughs> because I have a caller, so it's going to shut down. The phone so. shut down? <laughs> or you shut it down? Because only 2%, and then we have a pool. <laughs> so there's two percent but you shave four percent all right get the 20 ready baby get that 20 pesos ready for battery is not good to have a trouble this way mm -hmm. a little trouble battery trouble <laughs> so i need to draw away this way <laughs> no i love my phone even this chipper i love this one okay now, folks, here's a fun fact. Anita's birthday is coming up next month. So maybe, just maybe, Santa Claus might bring you a new phone. This is what I'm thinking, though. I'm thinking that probably she spends too much time on the phone. So this is this is the kind of phone you need, Anita. You ready? You need a Cherry Mobile talk and text keypad. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, brand new. That's what, maybe 1,000 pesos? Yeah. 20 bucks? Maybe. Then you don't, hey, but then you don't have battery problems. <laughs> and you don't have to rent my power bank. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe if I have some money, I buy that. Dirty totin. Keypad. <laughs> yeah, just get the keypad. <laughs> just get the keypad. You just get them thumbs going like that, yeah. you know. You can text quickly. Yeah. My old phone before is keypad. Keypad? Keypad. A keypad phone is so much less stress. It really is. You know, before I started getting into the YouTube game seriously, there was like two years in Thailand I don't know, a couple year period, two, three year period that I got I got rid of my iPhone and I carried around a talking text for like two, three years. A little Samsung talking text. Half the time I didn't even take the thing with me. Because, I mean, you know, I'm from the old school. I grew up before computers, the internet, well, during computers. 
uh, but obviously definitely before cell phones. So, you know, guys in my generation, we look at cell phones as luxuries. And, and again, if I wasn't in this YouTube game, I wouldn't be carrying around an iPhone. Trust me. Because it's like this. I'm not a neurosurgeon. I'm not on call. If somebody needs to send me an important email, I check my email once or twice a day. I check it when I get to the house. That's it. That's all I need. If something is so important in my life, people can pick up the phone and call me. And that talk and text will ring. And we can have a conversation like we used to in the old days instead of all this messaging crap, right? What was that movie? Uh, with Danny Trujillo? Machete don't text. <laughs> For many years, I didn't text because I'm like just old school pick up the phone and call me pretty simple but today it's so funny you know everybody in the world thinks they're a neurosurgeon and they got to have their phone with them 24 7 isn't that funny well, the same way with beepers remember when you got your first beeper now i'm obviously talking to my generation and older the young cats don't know what a beeper is but remember back in the day you got your first beeper and prior to that, the only people that had beepers were what? Surgeons, emergency room, doctors, right? Because it was important to get a hold of that important person. Next thing you know, every redneck's rocking a, a beeper hanging off his belt. Me included. You know, walking around acting like you're all important, like you're a freaking neurosurgeon. Then that beeper goes off. You're like, damn, man, you're looking for a payphone. <laughs> Digging through the ashtray in your truck trying to find 25 cents, quarters, whatever. 35 cents to make a phone call. Then you're trying to find a, a pay phone that actually works. And then you put that important call in. You done spent, you know, three gallons of gas riding around trying to find a pay phone. You didn't have no change. You got to go in there and buy a Coke, get some change. All this trouble. You put that call in. Oh, sorry, wrong number. I page I I, I, <laughs> I dial the wrong beeper number, or B. Hey, when are you coming home? Well, I'd already been home if you hadn't damn beat me. <laughs> Fast forward to today, everybody in the world is a neurosurgeon. Nanita, mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. Okay, if somebody offered you money to not at, to not have your cell phone like if somebody said I'll give you a thousand pesos if you don't play on your cell phone for one day would you take the money I or, can play my phone yeah if I said hey I said if I said hey you give me your phone for 24 hours and I'll give you a thousand pesos you can't talk on it no, it's okay. what about for two days three yeah. But I miss my son if I'm not talking to my son. <laughs> okay. Every time. Yeah. yeah. That's my important. Okay, so the big port important thing to you is your son. Okay. But if you had to talk and text, you could call him every day, right? Yeah. But would you be willing to give up Facebook for like three days? I'm not using Facebook. No? Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll have to try this challenge. I'm not upload my picture in Facebook, so I'm, I'm really very private. Yeah. Person. What? What about TikTok? Uh, before when I was uh, before ah uh, when I was uh, there in Quezon, uh maybe starting lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. You were doing TikTok. Yeah, um, but were you doing twerking? No. Oh, no twerking. Only dance. I have. I think I have a picture. I saw you. Yeah, I'm a private person too, but you, you realize we're like on YouTube, right? You. Oh no, that's TikTok. Yeah. Hit play. That's my 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 niece. 
she <laughs> she encouraged me to do that I, because I'm not really do that. Yeah, but if, if I said no, I'm I'm old now. It's not my <laughs> my niece. She said no, Ate. It, it's only a little bit. Now when you say you're old, tell everybody how old you are in case this is the first video. Well, the truth is, I'm, I'm uh, 43. 43? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you told a bulla bulla. No. Uh, you said you were 41. Maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> you can hear clear. I, maybe I clearly I heard you say you no, were 41. I told you I'm 43. You're 43? Yeah. So you aged two years in yeah. one week. Yeah, you look, I'm proud. Baby, you're beautiful. You're not old. I'm proud being. Nah, we're just getting started in life. I'm coming up on 50 and I feel like I'm and just I'm, getting started. I'm, thanks, I'm very thankful to our God because I'm, I'm still alive at the age of 43. And then it's coming April 10. Oh, again. Additional. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, 44. so you so you fist to be forty four. Yeah. Okay, so you you shaved off three years. You you kept saying you were forty one, but the truth is you're coming up on forty four. Yeah, I'm honest. You know, I'm honest person. <laughs> Don't lie, honey. I asking you. You said forty one. No. In the last video, you said you were forty one. I'm asking that. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, maybe. <laughs> I'm asking forty one. Are but, you sure? But, but, but the truth is, you're coming up on 44. Yeah. Okay, well you're a beautiful 44 year old lady, I tell you. Ninety-two, Nanita. Ninety-two. <laughs> Maybe I need my 20 pesos. Utang means credit. <laughs> no, you know, no, you know. I got this joke every, everywhere I go. Now you know what's the meaning of Utang? Yeah. Now, believe it or not, being a foreign guy, most of these places, little sorry, sorry stores, will not give you Utang. Now, if you've lived there in the neighborhood for six months or a year, maybe so, but you got to live there for a while before they'll give you Utang as the foreigner. And what I like to do, everywhere I go, I ask them, like, hey, uh, can I get a utong just for one week? And, they're, and they're, I know the answer. And they're, like, looking. I'm like, look, just give me a utong for one week, but my flight's tomorrow. So I got I to gotta go. I got to hurry up and run. My flight's tomorrow. But just, just give me a utong for one week. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Baby, why they don't get a foreign dude utong at the Sorry Sorry store? <laughs> I'm shy. You're shy to get a Utan? Yeah. Look at that 5G speed. I don't think I've ever hit a 5G before. 209 down, 20 up on the 5G here in Manila. Okay, here's what an ND filter does. That's off. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's an ND filter.
John Paul says this is the end of the s licks right? And then the next will start the tollway. So from Angeles, you basically go the n licks the North Luzon Expressway. Then we hit the Skyway. And John Paul, you said from start to finish was 400 pesos on the Skyway. So 400 pesos on the Skyway, that's roughly eight US dollars. And folks, we zoom down to we zoomed down on the Inlex, no traffic, or no no stop and goes. I mean, it was just zoom down, hit the Skyway, no traffic. Now, there was traffic coming the other direction on the Skyway. Uh, all the way to the Eslex, we've zoomed down here. Knock on wood, the traffic today has been uh, not an issue for us. Now, it's an extra 800 pesos or excuse me, 400 pesos, which is eight US dollars. 100% worth the money not to have to sit through Manila traffic. That's being Captain Obvious, but uh, you know, here locally that is a substantial cost, especially you gotta go back. Um, so you're looking at, you know, we'll look at eight, uh, 800 pesos, 16 bucks extra on the trip. But again, absolutely worth it to, to not have to sit in that stop and go for an hour or two. Unbelievable. First traffic we hit is after we get off the s -Licks. That's crazy. Culprit's right here. Just a little bit of hold up in the, little bit of hold up in the traffic. We are back underway. All right, off at the Ibaan exit. Folks, we're mission accomplished. A little quick business trip. Now we're back headed north. Yeah, we're ready to roll, John Paul. Folks, you done get a was that a tiger? Yeah. That's a tiger dress. Raw. Raw. My goodness. Yeah, folks, we're gonna try to find us a little place here to eat. Oh, it's got a spread here. My goodness. Look at all this delicious food in here. Wow. And Anita has changed into another dress here. So we'll see what she's going with. What you, what you gonna eat, girl? Man, that looks delicious. Going with the gulag? Delicious. Yeah, folks, this place is too cool. They got a whole spread right here. Are you are you my waitress? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll take a Jack and Coke with a lime. <laughs> and folks, check out the spread that we get. All right, we got a fish. You're practicing. This is the uh, pork chopped up. Obviously, we've got the rice over here. Here, look around this spot. It's a uh, pretty cool, nice little spot here. Yeah, I just take one. I just need one, baby. Gracias. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so wonderful. Look at that, folks. Anita is such a good lady. I'm telling you what. Look at her. And that tiger dress, the row. Mm. Oh yeah, some of that. 
especially that chili right there. All right. Folks, look at those chicharrones right yeah. there. Those look delicious. There you go. See that bar is in the way from the <laughs> from the whole Ronda blocker. That just means she's got to sit closer to me. It, we need to pray. Oh, we got to pray? <laughs> All right. Thank you, God, for this food. Amen. Amen. You're so sweet, dog. So sweet. All right. Oh, I got these little rolls right here. Let me open these up and show you. Show these to you. They're so cute, fresh. I can't wait. I gotta get. I gotta roll in on one of these chicharrones. Oh yeah, that that is warm. It's like it's fresh out of the out of the fryer, fresh out of the oil. My goodness, folks. I'm been nibbling on that like a like a horse on an ear of corn. I haven't done much damage to it, but that is the most delicious chicharron. I gotta get it to go order for wife number two. I really do, that is so damn delicious. It's gonna take me another 10 minutes to eat on it, get it com completed. Baby, that chicharron is absolutely delicious. I was calling this a crab cake. Has it got shrimp in it? Uh, fish. It's got fish? So maybe it's a fish cake. Looks like, looks mm -hmm. like a fish cake. Yeah. All right, so I didn't bring the big camera. I'm shooting on the iPhone 12 mini. Mmm. This is so good. That's good. Check out that pork right there. That was fat and bone. <laughs> that will break teeth, but it is worth it. The taste of that, Very that toothbreaker. Mm. I want to tell you, everything was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Great food. Thank you. Don't forget my little bitty rolls. Put those, put those in your purse. Put those in your purse. Don't forget my rolls. Those are delicious right there. Tell, tell Fatima what we're bringing her. Uh, but just <laughs> this. We are bringing for you the chicharron bubble from, from this place. The Maserat, right? Yeah, very delicious. Yeah, Everything was delicious. And I am bringing you a to-go box, and I got you an extra order of them chicharrones. Just like you like them. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. When, when I got them, they were hot. And by the time I get home, they're not going to be hot, but on time. And see, that's awesome. I looked in the bag and said, hey, where's the, the takeout order of chicharrones? And she said they're cooking them. All right, folks, right there. That's what we're working with, 880 pesos. That's just shy of, uh, what did it say, 900? 18 bucks. 18 bucks gave the young lady 100 pesos, $2 tip. So we're in and out the door for 20 bucks. $20. Plus, I got this takeout bag for the old lady and another fresh, fresh order. Oh, they even put the uh, vinegar sauce in there. So, uh, I give this place two thumbs up right here. Let me walk outside and show you where I'm at right here. All right, so here's a look around this little spot. And I think this place is called Great Taste. Maybe that says the Great Taste Annex. Here's the side right here. Oh yeah, I like that little ride right there. Look, extended in the back. Here they call these owner types. 
or owner type Jeeps. <laughs> Shoot first, ask questions later. Too cool. All right, now I'll have to put a map because I'm outside Rosario down in Batangas. But this is the little place right here. And again, I think it's called, is it called Great Taste? I think it is. Anyhow, there you go. Yeah, dummy. It's called a Great Taste Annex Bulalo Go To Lomi Guisado Great Taste Annex. All right, now, I want all you, all you ladies out there to get all hot and bothered, but I gotta come out of this shirt. It is hot. Now, folks, where that little restaurant is, a little town called Ibaan, I B A A N. And we're just a few clicks east, east of Ibaan, like you're headed towards Rosario. And I don't even know what road this is. Shout out to the chef, the cooks, the waitresses, the ladies taking our order. Everybody was so friendly. All that food was delicious. Dear Janice, baby, I was trying to get you to take this little ride with me today, but... You bailed out on me, so you didn't get to eat at that delicious restaurant. My goodness. But anyhow, hope you're doing well. I was really hoping that you'd take the ride with me. Everybody on the channel message you wants to see you. So folks, I made an attempt to uh, get Janice to roll with me on today's little adventure, but she must uh, have some other things going on. Anyhow, shout out to you, Janice. Hope you're doing well over there. All right, so. She saw these flowers on the side of the road, right? And there are a lot of beautiful flowers out now. I mean, those look like pink carnations, but we're seeing roses. They're up there by Angeles, south of Angeles, they plant roses in the median. And that's the only reason that there's all those flowers still there, because nobody can get over there in the median to pick them. So anyhow, she's talking about these flowers. She said, nobody wants to buy me flowers. Nobody gave me flowers on Valentine's Day. She's talking about these flowers. But baby, I, I, I gotta tell you though, you, you, need, you need a new cell phone more than you need the flowers. There you go, plug them back in there, baby. It's okay. Alright, stop by a little vulcanizing shop. This ain't no small vulcanizing shop. This is a proper tire shop right here. I'm gonna check the tires. This gentleman right here put a little air in the tires. Baby, don't get jealous, but this girl is my gunda. Let me zoom in for you. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Back in Angeles City. Hey, thanks for riding with me today. 